Um, any news on the Vista and the engine issues? I have not heard anything. I've been keeping up with it. Um, it's just one of those things. And the Vista has been having engine problems for a while. If you've really been like clocking the T on that, and they have to go slower, which means that they're missing ports. And unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, once you, once you pay on a cruise with Carnival Cruise Lines, that's signing a contract that yeah. basically says that, hey, you can miss a couple of ports. We can change some ports. It's a part of the cruising contract. So a lot of people be like, well, I want my money back. It's really not that easy. I wish it was, but yeah. they kind of do, you know, put a little leeway in there for you to make some changes. Um, you know, maybe you want to get on another ship or push it out a little bit. You know, sometimes we can work our magic with that. But for the most part, I haven't heard really anything of what they're yeah. going to do with the Because the Vista is a big money magnet for, you know, um, Carnival Cruise Lines. It's one of their bigger ships in the fleet, one of the newer Sh um, ships in the fleet. So Nelly Bell go keep on sailing. That's yeah. that's my projection. They might right. take out a commission for about a week, two, a month at best, but haven't heard anything. Can you bring candy and snacks on the ship with you prepackaged? Yes. Nothing homemade um, because they don't want y'all to be bringing y'all weed brownies on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you know how much cash required for setting up a cash account there really isn't an amount yeah. that you have to do i've seen people that don't set up a cash account at all um i say this is this is me and how i roll if you can put between three to five hundred dollars on it go ahead and do that yeah only thing about setting up a cash account is you have to cash that sucker out yes now granted if you've been cruising for a while, you know that there's little tricks that you can do to cash it out where you don't have to go to guest services. You can cash it out in the casino. <laughs> you know, t tell her Lynette sent you. Yeah. <laughs> you can cash it out. But, you know, for me, if I'm on vacation, I want things as easy and That's, as carefree yeah. as they can be. I'm going to put my credit card on file and I'm going to deal with all of that and some totaling it up when I get out. Will a passport card work for cruising? Yes, it will. It will. What else? I'm a single man. Are there a lot of single ladies on the cruise? Yeah. Yeah, a whole yep. lot of them, bro. <laughs> yeah. And vice versa. We don't see a whole lot of hooking ups. Yeah. Oh, we saw one guy. What's the. We can't say his name. Yeah. We... <laughs> we're on the cruise and he legit had them like lined up like dominoes yep. every night. I was like. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. bar that he seen him at, he had at least two ladies on the side that he was laying it down, setting it up for that night. And you see the, sl <laughs> the slow walk away? Yep. <laughs> I said, we see him the next day, we'd be like, he'd be like, y'all stay out of my business. I yeah. said, stop putting your business in the street. <laughs> That's um, what I say is set, set dining versus any time. Which do you prefer? I prefer any time dining. Yeah. Just because I'm on vacation, I don't want to be set to a schedule. If you know me personally, I am very much a set person. Like you can pretty much clock my moves if you really knew them because I live by a calendar. I live by a schedule. Yep. So when I go on vacation, I want everything the total opposite. You know, exactly. I want some things that are set in place. But when it comes to how I move, I just like to be carefree with it. So if I get hungry at six, I'm going to eat. If I get Hungry at eight. I want to be able to go and eat at eight. But here's the thing that I do love about set time dining is every night you're going to be at the same table, which means you're going to have the same wait staff. I do like that because they get to know you. You get to know them. You know, they remember what you like, what you don't like. Anytime dining, you're basically set where you you are set. Yeah. Unless you request it. Like when we go with our family, if we like the person that we are with, we're requested, like we had um Savio. Yeah. The last oh, he time was we excellent. went. He was excellent. And every night we just went and even if we had to wait 20 minutes, we we're like, can yeah, we get we at Savio. Savio's yeah. on table? And that's what they did for us every night. Cause he was so good. He was feeding my yeah. mom. And yeah. I thought I was Cut, cutting up her steak. <laughs> I thought I thought I was gonna come up off the shit with a stepdad. So I booked for th um for three rooms. So when I check in on the app, do I need to have everyone's information to put in? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Think of it as a job application. Everybody needs to apply. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to have everybody's information and be ready. What is the online check-in time at 14 days out? My 14 days is, what is the check-in times? Really, I've seen it as early as 10 o'clock and as yeah. late as 2 o'clock. Um, like this cruise that we just went on for, I call it general population. General pop, <laughs> that means you don't have a suite, you're not diamond, you're not uh, platinum. Started at 11. 
and it went all the way to three. Uh, what's the best power plug to bring? Um, anyone that doesn't have a surge That's protector, the, yeah. you can go to, you can actually go to the dollar. Well, it's not Dollar Tree anymore. It's Dollar and 25 Cent Tree. Go, and they have like the three um, outlet one. Yep. That works fine. We've actually had those for a few years. Yep. Well, you can go to our website, coldfuntravel.com to the Cruise Essentials, and we got a couple we of got options in there. there as well, so you can check that out too. Mm -hmm. um, where do you get your COVID test? I like to get mine from CBS. Yeah. Here is the thing right now. There, I don't know what's going on. They swear that there's a shortage of the test. So right now, if you have to schedule a COVID test, you're not going to get one. You can't schedule it like, what is it? Three days prior. They only have availabilities popping in three days prior to when you need it. <laughs> I can't take that kind of chance, like real talk. So I went and ordered the at home test kits so that I can have yeah, a backup plan. Yeah, um, I did. I was able to get one at the minute clinic, which does the rapid piece. No, rapid antigen test. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, that comes out. Yeah, yeah but it, I, I have a backup plan because this is just too much right now. But CVS, Walgreens, and then just do this. This is a little trick that I do. Go into your phone and do COVID testing near me or COVID testing near the zip code you're going to be in. So if you're going in the port, you need it at the port because you're going to be there a few days ahead of time. Put that zip code in. It'll pop up and tell you every place that has COVID testing. Um, first time travels, if I want orange juice or cranberry juice, do I need to pay for the soda package or are they free? You definitely don't get those free, but if you want to bring in the canned kind yeah. on board, you can definitely do that. I know canned orange juice tastes horrible. I didn't like how it sounded when I said it. <laughs> um, if you can find the carton ones, you can bring those on board as well, um, too. You just can't bring bottles, but cartons and cans, you can bring those on. But yeah, we're not doing that can orange juice. It's horrible. Um, do you need to have a passport to travel by cruise? If you are leaving a U.S. port and coming back to that same U.S. port, meaning that you're not planning on missing the ship. Right. That you ain't planning on just getting off and acting like you ain't going to get back on the ship and fly back. No, but yeah, <laughs> you don't need it in that case. But I tell everyone, if you are traveling to another country, whether you need it or not, Work that into your to-do list Yes, and get a passport. You never know what's going to happen. You know, we all, that's why we buy insurance these days, right? We buy insurance because we hope to never need it. But if we need it, it's there. Same thing with a passport. Um, is the internet package worth it? If you definitely need to get online, it's definitely, it's worth, definitely it. worth it. Are you going to be disappointed in some parts? Probably. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work like it works on yeah, land. Because our last cruise, it was so slow, st it slow, was spotty. spotty. We had to end up getting a refund. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was bad. That's how bad it was. And the crazy thing about it is me and my cousin <laughs> had the same package. I would often have to log out of my device and get her login and log into my device because it worked better when I used hers. It was crazy. I had to do flights and everything. And every time y'all saw me say the thing would just freeze up and do like this. Question, if we tested positive this past week and our cruise is July the 9th, do we still have to pre-test? Yep. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. But if you still happen to test positive, you can go to your doctor and they can write you a note that says that you have been medically cleared. Um, because sometimes you still will test false, um, false positive. So, yeah, if you do, hopefully you won't. But that's an option. Just go to your doctor and see if you can get a note. So do you think the drink package is worth it for two people? My husband actually had a yeah. really good explanation in our last video. Thank you, Audrey White. For, thank you for the super thanks chat. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. We appreciate here's that. My, here's my thing. The, the question is not, is it worth it? Is, is it worth it to you? So in the past video, um, I told you guys that a five-day cruise for the drink package is $800, One a seven-day cruise is about $1,100. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? If I pay that much and I come home after the cruise, am I going to kick myself in the butt that I paid that much for alcohol? Yeah. That's, that's what you got to ask yourself. That's so, almost mortgage. Because it's, it's so subjective. It's different. Like We had some people come through and say, yeah, I think it's worth it because on my last cruise, 
I spent like twelve hundred dollars in liquor. So yeah, that so for that person, yeah, if you spending that kind of money, drink packets for sure. Real facts. Yeah, because it's saving. But if you ain't much of a drinker, don't even worry about it. just buy the drinks as they come. And then you also have the option of having bottle service to your room, right? right. So um, and if you book with me as a travel agent, I can get it at a discount. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get the bottle services um, in your room. Of course, they're inflated, but a, what is it? A liter? Yeah, it's, it's a liter. like, yeah, almost, it's like a, liter. a liter or, or a uh, little over a liter. A little over a liter, yeah. Um, they'd be like $80, $95, but that should last you your entire cruise. And then you can bring your canned beverages or carton beverages on. You got your own mixers there if that's what you want to do. Now, we did. We got the um, package the last time we went on a cruise. Was it enjoyable? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Did we drink our money's worth? Yes. But we also think we drank our money's worth because, because we, we had it. it. Yeah. <laughs> because we didn't want to spend that kind of money and just be like, really? So, yeah, we indulged it. Yeah. Everything. Thing. Yeah, but I did like the carefreeness of it that you were able to get your specialty coffees. Um, we didn't get any milkshakes because I'm one of those people. If I'm drinking, like I can't do sweets. That'll make me sick as a dog. But we did. We did the coffees, um, sodas, wine. We got the um, good water. Yeah, the, the, the um the spike coffees that uh Dre and Shan recommended. Yeah, which was which was excellent. But I like the Jameson one better. Yeah, than but, the um. The wrong one. Let me give you an advice if it's your first time and you get the drink package. You're going to want to go crazy <laughs> at the bar and get as many drinks as you can. Don't do it. Don't go too hard. Remember that just because you're on vacation doesn't mean that your drinking limit goes out the window. Right. So know your limit because we don't want you to, on the first day, you drink all them drinks and then the next three, four, five days, you can't enjoy yourself because you're still sick from drinking all that food. All drinking all, all that, that food. Liquor. <laughs> and we don't want to see you come down the hallway in one of the wheelchairs, man, because they had to pick you up. Uh-oh. Or be on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone said, is there a possibility our vaccination exemption will get denied? Yes. Yep. 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 It's definitely a gamble. It is a gamble. It's a gamble. Um, I am that travel agent. Whenever I see that someone is unvaccinated, I cringe because I'm like, you have so much that you have to do. And Carnival does not let you know whether or not you've been accepted or not until like 10 to 14 days before your yeah. cruise. So you Which really can't even plan your life. And they put in the contract. We are not responsible for any fees, hotel fees flights or anything that you have to undo mm. because you were not accepted as an exemption. That's a um, good question. Um, is the cruise ca cash worth it? Yeah. Yeah. I think you should break that one down. Cruise cash is the same as using a gift card. Mm. Um, I would rather someone use cruise cash rather than bar cash because cruise cash you can use at the bar. Bar cash, if you put $100 on there and you do $50 worth of drinks, $50 is bye-bye. Yeah. You know, so it's the same as a gift card. I would rather for you just to put cash. I'm going to give you all a trick. Don't tell nobody else I told you. But if it ever happens to you, you're going to thank me later. Don't pay for your cruise with a gift card. Mm -hmm. Reason for that is if anything happens and you have to cancel that cruise, that money has to go back to its original form of payment. Mm -hmm. And if you toss that got doing card, you might be waiting up until like maybe three or four months before that thing bounces all around Carnival system where they can't land back into that gift card for them to mail you a check. Don't do it. Not even worth it. Yeah. Save your gift cards. Use them on the ship. If that's what you need to do, don't pay for your ship. <laughs> don't pay for your cruise with a gift card. I have seen nightmares. Um, You think they'll start the faster to the fun anytime soon. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think as long as we're in this panorama, I think that faster to the fun is going to be a thing of the past until we are out of that because they just have so much going on that they have to do already rather than everybody purchasing the way to get on the ship faster. Do you get your money back if you don't use all yours on cruise cash? You have a way that you can do it. You better load that cruise cash onto your sign and sale car, which, and then cash it out at a casino. Yeah. So put, it's a way to do it. If you don't understand how to do it, just get an attendant. They will teach you how to do it. Like get it onto 
<laughs> you sign a sale card as you like kind of gamble with it and just, just cash it out. How do you add cruise cash? You can do it at the kiosk or you can do it at guest services. Um, yes, don't do your debit card. Not unless you're rich and you got a whole lot of cash just in your account. Yeah, maybe I might explain it. Yeah, because I explained, yeah, explained it. it again. Yeah, I explained it in the video. Basically, how it works is whatever card that you use, whether it's a debit card or a credit card, Carnival will put holes on it. So it depends on how long your cruise is. So like a five day cruise is like a hundred, and then anything over that, it start getting to like two hundred dollar holes. And so once you start spending money on the trip, those holes stay. So like on day one, if they do a hundred and you spend a hundred, and then the next day you spend two hundred, they do another hundred. That's five hundred dollars that's on hold on your account for about two weeks after you get off the cruise. Or it depends on how quick your bank will release those holds. Right. So if you got some bills that's waiting to be paid in that account, <laughs> them bad boys is going to bounce. Rubber bullets. Yeah. So you don't need to get no late, no um, what you call them? NFS. NFS, NFS. fees. Because of whole. So that's why we recommend doing cash or do a credit card on your sign of sale. Can you use your Apple credit card on the ship? As long as it has a Visa or a Visa Master logo. Mm -hmm. Do kids under two need COVID testing? Yes. Everyone, unless you have a, well, no, even everybody with an exemption, everyone has to get tested to get on board. And if you're not vaccinated, you need the straight up PCR test. You can't even do the rapids. Um, anyone asked to consider fully vax if I'm eligible for the booster yet? Listen, this whole booster thing had, even as a travel agent, <laughs> this thing got me all twisted because I can't get a definitive answer from anyone, even at Carnival. You can call three people and get two different answers. So this is what I tell people. If you had the booster and you're not like, you've had your first booster, right? and you're not eligible yet for your second booster, you can test three days ahead of your cruise. But if you are eligible for that second booster and you haven't taken it, just test two days. Yeah. <laughs> because we, Be don't know, we don't know which rule they're going after because they're saying boosters are not required. Let's go ahead and put that out there before everybody gets confused. The booster is not required, but if the booster is available to you and you have not taken it, you have to test within two days. So I tell all my people because the rules, the, the line is just too blurred. I'd rather for you to catch the train a day early than to be a day late. <laughs> right. Just test two days ahead. <laughs> say, do you recommend the cheers package? We say we recommend the cheers package if you drinking four plus drinks, maybe five, but it all depends on, see, the line gets blurred. So the average drink Without the cheers package, like it's gonna cost you around about twelve or thirteen dollars. Some of them may be a little cheaper. The ones that's like really got all that syrupy, sugary stuff in there, but you know it all depends on what you drink. So we say around at least four to more than four to five, it'll be worth it. But if you ain't that person, and then also we didn't we didn't bring this up in um in the last video. You also got to consider your sea day, I mean your port days. Right. And you're not on yeah. the ship. And you're not on the ship. So if you go out, you know, on your excursion and you drink a whole bunch and you come back, you might not even drink as much. And then yeah. you don't want to force yourself to drink and get sick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said, are the drinks watered down? I wouldn't say watered down. Hey, but I, hey, hey. Is your tip watered down? <laughs> I would say, like, for us that the drinks that are like out at the pools, we like yeah. add a lot of the sugary mix to it. Ice. And it like messes with your stomach. So that's why we recommend going to the alchemy bar. So if your ship has an alchemy bar on it, pull up. Them drinks are going to be off the chains because everything is made from scratch uh, yeah. with natural ingredients. Right. Um, someone said, what about these fools falling overboard? Listen, you just can't fall overboard no. on a ship. Let's mm. go ahead and keep it a band. You just cannot fall over. Yeah, board. they got a lot of fail you safe. Have yeah. to, you have to be intentionally doing something or you whacked out of your mind. Like, yeah. Or you hallucinate. Like, there's something going on. But, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, you have to actually, like, get up there and, like, really throw. And even look like if you just throw yourself off there, you would hit one of those railings on the way down. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Have you ever seen people get caught sharing this cheers package? Not really. Mm. Real facts, like my family, um, they, they're gamblers. They, that's their thing. And they always get the free drinks in the casino. I'll pull up on my family in a minute and be like, they'll be like, what you want? Boom. They, nobody. 
Oh, yeah. And while we're bringing up the Cheers package, just in case somebody want to know the difference between the Cheers package and free drinks in the casino. Yeah. <laughs> we witnessed it that on the last cruise that we had the Cheers package. And then someone that was with us had the um, free drinks in the casino. With the free drinks in the casino, every time you want to drink, you have to Go walk back. all the way back to the casino to get it. So we was at our table. We all drinking. And something like that was like, God darn it. I got to walk to all the way back to the casino and get a drink. So it has its pros and cons. Just know that, you know, if you all the way out on the Lido, you want a free drink, you got to walk all the way over to the casino. What else? Um, what do pineapples and unicorns? I, I, I think I know what you're asking. What, what do, do they mean? What do they mean? <laughs> Listen, if you want to have a good time with some other people, and other people let you have a good time, time with their people, yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> Read between well, the lines. Well, why did we go into Dollar Tree and that's awesome. last week? They had pineapple stickers. They had pineapple magnets, cups, pineapple cups with with uh, like a tumbler cup. I think I saw some lanyards in there. I was like flip flop. I was like, <laughs> okay, said, this uh -huh. is the thing. Yeah, this is this. Their thing is big. <laughs> so if you need anything pineapple, just go to Dollar Tree. Most likely they got. Ooh. And can you decorate your cabin mm -hmm. door? Yeah. Absolutely. As long as you don't use materials that can damage the door. See, I hear that the drink package is required for everyone in the cabin. Yes, all adults. adults that's in the cabin. But I didn't bring this up in the video. If you're in the cabin with an underage child, of course not. That's like a, a little hack that you can do, you know, where you don't have to, you just pay for it for yourself. But if every legal drinking age adult has to buy it. Whether you drink or not, whether yep. you're pregnant or anything. Now, I heard that most people will buy it and go to like guest services and show proof of pregnancy. And it's up to them whether or not they will go ahead and refund half. Don't go around telling people I told you to do that. <laughs> but I heard that some people can do because that is unfair. Like you're pregnant, you can't drink. Like, why would I have to buy it? For both people. And also, like if you are a, a family and you get a cabin for your kids and you're in a cabin together and only one of you all wants the package, just put it on the reservation. One adult, one child, one adult, one child. One person gets the package, you know? Yeah. Let's That's see. another little hack, too. Let's see. Can you still take a bottle of wine per person? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Up to two. Up to two in a cabin. Yeah, two in a cabin. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. They'll, like, come, they'll yeah. come in at double fist. <laughs> um, can you get on a cruise and you just got your first COVID shot? No. You have to be fully vaccinated at least 14 days before you cruise. So your first shot ain't going to cut it, That's baby. That's a good question. How do you get an upgrade for cabins? One, is at random. Yes. Two, is at random. Three, if you get a deal or an offering on your VIFP number and it's <clears throat> in your budget to upgrade to the cabin that you want, you can do it that way as well. But even me as a travel agent, I hardly ever get an upgrade offer. Mm -hmm. Luckily enough for this suite, this junior suite that we got, we got upgrade offer, but they won't free. Yeah. And it won't even, it, well, I won't even call it cheap. <laughs> yeah. Cheaper. Yeah. Cheaper than that cabin. Yeah. Than that cabin. I would have had to pay for it if I bought it straight out. But so what our rule of thumb is, and we see different people come through and ask, say, you know, you will buy an interior, but you really want a balcony and you'll buy an interior with the hopes of getting upgrade to a balcony. Our thing is, if you want a balcony, get a pay balcony. for the balcony. Do not sit around and wait for upgrades. It's, it's rolling the dice. Right. You just might not get it. And you realize that when they send out those offers for the, we call it the upgrade ferry, because I'm a travel agent, when it pops in, I have 50 people with that same offer and it's yeah. usually only like four or five cabins and when i send that email to my people like this is what you got and everybody's deal be a different price i could have some that have oh 25 dollars yours is 200 dollars. yeah it's all a luck of, but when the cabins are gone everybody deal disappears because they are they're, they're throwing it out there to everybody whoever bites boom gets it how big of a wine can you bring Seven fit. Seven fit. Don't yeah. come in there with the box. Yeah. <laughs> don't come in there with the with the big jug. Don't do it. Don't come, look. Don't come in there with that strawberry wine that Grandpapa made. Don't do that. <laughs> Sam fit. 
Sam Finney. Nessa said, can you bring powder packets to put your water in, um, put in your water? Yes, I do that because mm -hmm. I don't do a whole lot of those sugary drinks. So I get, listen, I'm going to give y'all a plug. I might regret this. But every time I tell y'all about something, I go to the store and I can't find it. Country Time Lemonade, the zero one, bring on some lime. They don't usually say nothing to me when I bring on the, the lime, um, the lime juice that looks like a lime. They don't usually say nothing. Margarita. Put it in your cup, go to the bar, get a shot. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll go ahead. They're smoking allowed. Yes. They have we'll um that to the top. All right. They have designated smoking sections. Can we bring on water? Nope. Can't bring on water. But you can pre-buy it. Yeah. On a countable site. Yep. And it's it's pretty affordable. I mean, yeah, it's, it's higher it's than like you last time I think it was like five dollars. Yeah, something like for a yeah. 12 pack. But here's the thing, too. If you're going to buy the Cheers package, don't buy nothing else. I mean, don't bring on nothing else. Don't bring on your sodas. Don't bring on your wine. Don't bring on any of that stuff because you you can get it all yep. with the Cheers, Cheers package. package. When we did all of that last time, we went to the, we sent my cousin to the store when we landed in Miami. We went to the ship. They went to the store. They met us at the port and they had our sodas and the wine. We didn't do any of it because nope. we did everything with the cheers package so legit we left all that stuff there that's a good question does the Blair verify help check check and move fast yes yeah um i don't see here's the thing with verify they say that all ports aren't using it but every time i have somebody that's booked with me they get the information straight from convo to tell them to download verify so i'm like if they if the boss is telling you to do it Go ahead and do it. So have you heard of people sneaking edibles on? Heck yeah. yeah. People sneak edibles on. Weed, they sneak weed on. Alcohol. CBD. Yeah, people still do it. But if you watch the video, what you should not do, there are fines and repercussions. and repercussions if you get caught. The only thing that I see that they don't have a repercussion for is the alcohol. And that's yeah, why people do just, it. They'll just take that from They'll you. just take it. They don't really they put a letter in your suitcase. Mm -hmm. Try to embarrass you, but yeah. that's about it. <laughs> What insurance is best? Honestly, if you're not a person that wants to shop around for insurance, just get the insurance through Carnival. Mm -hmm. um, make if you have like a travel credit card, make sure your travel credit card does not have the insurance built into it. A lot of them do, and then a lot of them have certain parts built into their insurance that you can take advantage of. If some of them have medical, some don't. Some only does like if you are your flight's delayed, your luggage loss, they'll cover that, but they won't cover medical. Make sure you know what benefits are attached to your credit card if you want to go that route. Another easy way to do it, if you are a person that travels a lot, get an annual plan. Yeah. It covers much, yeah, all much, of your trips. Yeah, it's much cheaper. Get, and you can get one of those through Allianz. A lot of people say Alliance, but it's Allianz. You can get one through them. Call whoever you have your um, auto insurance through. I've gotten plans through Nationwide. Um, it's not hard to get. Everybody ready to make some money off of somebody that's about to be careless and fall down a freaking cliff. Yeah, and they know we <laughs> they know we are hella care uh, careless on vacation. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's why they make a whole lot of money. Do they look at you sideways when you order a shot and just put it in your tumbler? No, no, indeed. Matter of fact, um, when we went, that's to what I do. <laughs> yeah, we went to Bimini. Um, Mama, I show you. If you haven't signed up, seen our Bimini uh, vlog, you want to check that out. We had the uh, the black um. It's a accordion. accordion yeah. So we went and sat at, we went and sat at the bar and we got eight shots. But four piece. So we were just yeah, sitting so there we, five minutes apart, like yeah, you gotta wait one. five minutes apart. Yeah. So. And another one, thank you. Yeah. Another one, thank you. <laughs> and so that was just and he was like, I know, I know. I said, Yeah. yeah. So we'll we're gonna sit here. Mm -hmm. We'll wait. Uh -huh. Somebody said, Are they strict with the luggage weight? No. Mm -mm. But they do say 50 pounds, but they not. Yeah, they, don't be, they don't be strict with it. Tip the porter well. Yeah. It'll get on board. And it's customary to um, tip the porter at least $3 per bag anyway. Um, Do you but, recommend flying the day before? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Say, are right, excursions cheaper if you uh, go... If you go through the ship? No. Mm -hmm. But they're uh, safer. Or off the ship locally? Yeah, locally, they're most cheaper. they are cheaper, but it's one caveat. Caveat. If, <laughs> caveat. That's a caveat. <laughs> if they don't bring you back on time, you heard of peer runners, you'll be that person. Or just stuck up over there. Right. Because Carnival, when you do Carnival, uh, just in case you don't know, if you do their excursion, they guarantee almost not to leave you 
or they'll make sure that you get, get back. It. Get back. Yeah, they're not gonna leave you. Yeah, they're not gonna leave you. Mm -mm. But if you out there with Willie and them, my name is it's Willie. Willie. <laughs> They're gonna leave you up over there. Is it safe to use a card off the ship? I your credit card. Yeah. Um that credit card. and we don't try to say things like that to scare anybody, but you have to realize <laughs> that you are in a place where there are vendors. You don't know if this vendor set their stuff up yesterday mm -hmm. and what their intentions are to skim your card or anything. But if you skim your card, take your number, and next thing you know, you don't bought a boathouse <laughs> yeah. over in um Barbados. <laughs> You know, you can fight that with your credit card company, but if that's your bank account, your money yeah. is gone before you get it back. If right. you get it back, and when that happens, when when fraud happens on a debit card, it's hard. You, you go through hell. Yeah, you do trying to get that money back. Yeah. So yeah, so cash it could, be, it could be it could be months before you get that money back. Any tips for flight home on debarkation day? Don't book a flight before twelve o'clock. Don't do as I say, do as I don't do as I do, do as I say. Um, because I will I I will, but here's the thing. If you have for instance, I'm gonna tell a story that's real. Yeah. <laughs> if I get lost, if I get left, tell I it, get left. Tell it. <laughs> I have a flight at 1150. I'm just gonna have to go to guest services and tell them, hey yo, I need to get off this ship and I need to get off this ship fast. Usually it's not a problem. Just don't check. Don't leave your luggage out by your door the night prior. Yeah. You're going to have to take that off Yes, because you're going to have to wheel your skid out, get in an Uber or Lyft and get straight to the airport. Mm -hmm. There ain't no time to wait for them to possibly lose your luggage. And if it's black, God bless you. Everybody's <laughs> luggage looks alike. Yeah. Take your stuff off with you. Try to not get a, um, a flight before 12. If you have to, and you see that, because usually there's this big gap. It's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, eleven o'clock, then five o'clock. Yeah. It makes me sick. And I refuse to do this on my next group. <laughs> but I did eleven fifty. But also if you're booking with Delta, they have a guarantee that they'll get you on the next um flight if you miss it. As long as you call them within like what 25 minutes or something like that, a couple hours. They have a good so choose your your um airline wisely as well. Also, don't get an airline that that is the only flight they have going out that day. Yeah. How's the cruise parking in Norfolk? The parking is fine. You just have to go to the parking lot and park and shuttle back. But the best way to do it is pull up to the ship, drop your bags off with the porter, mm -hmm. then go park your car and shuttle back. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. You can take your bags and get them to load it onto a bus and bring it to the ship, I don't want to take my eye off my luggage like that. I don't care. I don't, I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't even trust flights like that with my luggage. That's why I carry my own stuff on. You mean to tell me you're going to drive my stuff? <laughs> I don't trust. I got trust issues, y'all. Y'all pray for me. Issues with Carnival staffing. I was waiting for somebody uh. to ask that question. Yes. There has been there is a shortage of carnival staffing when it comes to the specialty restaurants or those that's going to take a hit. The steakhouse, not so much um, for now. That's the last word that I've gotten. But the um, Italian restaurant, the chef's table, I think it's something else that's being affected by it. They said that they couldn't get a lot of their workers on because they were having problems with their visa. So for those things, anybody that has purchased like the Italian restaurant, all that, they have been refunding people back because <clears throat> they're not staffing those areas right now. They rather make sure that all of the free venues are properly staffed. Um, of course, I think they don't quote me, but I think the um, steakhouse is still a go. I think that that's still a go. How is the Carnival bus shuttle from from and to the airport. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yeah, we did that on our last um, cruise in August of last year. And yeah, that was the best thing we could have done. It made it so easy. It did. Yeah. Like their terminal is just like an air online terminal. Like you go to Delta Gate 10. Mm -hmm. It's like Carnival Gate such and such. And you park yourself right there. Mm -hmm. They check you in. They look at your boarding pass to make sure that you have purchased the transportation. You sit down, charter bus 
pulls up, takes your luggage, put it underneath the bus, you get Y'all on this truck and you get the truck and you get you a nice little educational piece on the way to it. Good yeah. time. Get right Hi- off. Highly recommend. Yeah. Get off. They take yeah. your luggage and put it right on the ship. Yep. Yeah. I-, I couldn't have been more pleased with that. That was good. I wish every port had that. Um, I booked my airline tickets through Carnival. If my flight is delayed, if it's delayed for like weather or anything like that, they will wait for you. And if they can't wait for you, if you qualify to be flowed in in. (laughs) to the next um, port, which means that you need a passport, they'll make sure that you get there. That is the insurance for flying in the day of. Yeah. Fly to fun gives you that little bit of insurance that if there is a weather related delay or something like that, they'll get you there. Do you have to show the COVID test and how early can you get it before sailing two days before? And yes, you must show it. Yes, indeed. But we're going to catch y'all in the next live. Peace. Peace.